Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Generic Garage. On today's episode, headers. Stick around. <laughs> All right, here's where we left off last time, although it's a little bit more rusty than it was. That's all right. I remember saying that we needed to rotate this a little bit more counterclockwise, so this is gonna be a little bit closer to this, and it'll close up that gap. This is gonna be a lot of fun to try to wrap. I'm gonna to try to throw it back in the truck real quick to see what I'm up against when I'm trying to install it, because I remember, I think that longer tube I'm hitting on the block when I try to install it, and I need to start coming out this way and back. And then we're gonna to try to find a way to put this in the truck. And that way we kind of have a finish line of, you know, where we're trying to get to with the headers. And then we'll kind of just uh, close up the gap there. I had forgotten how easy it was to disconnect the steering shaft. It's about 30 seconds worth of work, two little Allen uh, retaining screws, and it just kind of drops away. And that was actually real easy. And then if we disconnect the fuel line, and disconnect these brackets over here, the gauge, the regulator, and the coil will all just kind of move up out of the way over here. And we have a lot more clearance to drop this in from the top. So as long as this collector can fit between the frame and the engine, we should be good to go. And we should be able to just kind of take this header, manipulate it around in here, and drop it on back.
right, everyone, we got this header mocked up completely with the exception of the collector, but I ran into a small issue. I can no longer fit this header in the truck from the top. Instead, I have to install it from the bottom. And as it is right now, it is perfect to fit in there from the bottom. If I try to extend past this tube anymore, it's not gonna fit, but it fits from the bottom. So um, I can't put the collector on there as this is right now because it'll just extend this and I won't be able to fit it in the truck. So what I'm gonna do is cut right here on the collector and remove that. I'm gonna cut all four of these pipes right about here and then we'll put the collector on and this will have a little bit more clearance on here because we still have to install the header reducers. And I don't know what I was thinking, but I grabbed two and a half inch. So we'll have to order some other ones that are three inch and get those welded on there. And we should be good to go for the driver's side. I'm gonna do the passenger side off camera. I don't think there's any need to reproduce this whole process. Uh, it's not as fun as I thought it would be, but I'm learning a lot and I have a lot more respect for people who make headers for a living, custom headers and shops, especially in tight spaces like this. So yeah. All right, well, three episodes later and I think we're finally making some progress. I wanna thank everybody for watching the videos. If you liked the video, please consider clicking the like button or leaving me a comment. If you wanna see this truck get going and running and doing burnouts and see what kind of power we make on the dyno and all that, please consider subscribing. You might actually enjoy it. <laughs> All right, guys, I really appreciate it again. Y'all have a great week. Stay safe and bye.